The NHL has a rich history of talented players skating up for every team and many of the league's greatest players were born in Europe. When you look back at some of the greatest players in NHL history, it's easy to think most came from North America, but many players from Europe have left a mark on the NHL. These stars have had memorable seasons, moments, and achievements over the span of their careers for the teams they played for. So we're going to go through every NHL team's greatest European player of all time, but before we start I would like to set some rules for this video. Only current NHL teams, so that means no Thrashers, no Old Jets, no Nordiques, no North Stars, and no Whalers. Since the Seattle Kraken are the newest expansion team in the NHL, they will not have a player in this video. Every player in this video is born in Europe, and there will not be any player used twice in this video. And with that being said, enjoy! First, from the Anaheim Ducks, Timu Solani. Solani played three full seasons with the old Winnipeg Jets before being traded to the Ducks in 1996. He helped the Ducks make its first ever playoff appearance in 1997, defeating the Arizona Coyotes in seven games. Solani would win the Rocket Richard Trophy in the 1998-1999 season after scoring 47 goals. Solani would be traded to the San Jose Sharks in 2001 and would play one year with the Colorado Avalanche in the 2003-2004 season before returning to the Anaheim Ducks in the 2005-2006 season. In his first season back with the Ducks, he would win the Masterson Award after overcoming a major knee surgery to get 90 points, 40 goals, and 50 assists. Solani would help the Ducks win its first Stanley Cup in franchise history in 2007. Solani is currently first all-time in goals scored by a Ducks player with 457 and has the most goals scored by a Ducks player in a season with 52, in which he accomplished that feat in the 1997 1998 season. Next, from the Arizona Coyotes, Oliver Ekham Larson. Ekham Larson was drafted 6th overall in the 2009 NHL Draft. His addition proved to be great as the Coyotes went on to make the playoffs three straight seasons and even making it to the Western Conference Finals in 2012. He scored 388 points, 128 goals, and 260 assists, which is second most in Coyotes history. After Shane Doan retired in 2018, he became the captain of the Arizona Coyotes and was captain for three seasons. Unfortunately, his time in Arizona came to an end in 2021 as he was traded to the Vancouver Canucks, but he played in 760. 69 games, the fourth most in Coyotes history. Next, from the Boston Bruins, Zdeno Chara. Chara called Boston home for 14 seasons. He was the anchor of the 2011 Stanley Cup winning team and was the most important player on what was one of the best defensive teams in recent memory. The tallest player in NHL history at 6'9", Chara dominated in his own zone with physicality and reach. On the offensive end, his booming slap shot and occasional forays as a net pursuer on the power play made him a force to be reckoned with. He scored a total of of 481 points, 148 goals, and 333 assists with the Bruins. In 2009, Chara became the first Slovakian player to win the Norris Trophy after producing 50 points in 80 games. Next, from the Buffalo Sabres, Dominic Hasek. In eight full seasons with the Buffalo Sabres, Dominic Hasek won the Vesna Trophy a staggering six times. He became the first European goalie to win the Hart Trophy and would win the Jennings Trophy in the Lester B. Pearson Award twice. Hasek is the only goalie to face the most shots for 60 minutes and have the highest save percentage in one season, doing it both in 1996 and 1998 with the Sabres. Hasek left the Sabres on a less than ideal terms due to a conflict and desired to play for a winner. He went on to win two Stanley Cups with the Red Wings and is undoubtedly one of the greatest goalies of all time. Though he could never win it all with the Sabres, Hasek carried the team on his back for many years. Next, from the Calgary Flames, Mika Kippersoff. Mika Kippersoff is the best goalie in Flames history in the backbone of the 2014 that was one win away from a Stanley Cup. That season, Kippersoff set a modern NHL record for lowest goals against average at 1.69 and was a Vesna finalist with a .933 save percentage. In the 2004 Stanley Cup playoffs, Kippersoff had 5 shutouts in 26 games, a 1.85 goals against average, and a .928 save percentage. He became the first player in Flames history to win the Vesna 
Trophy in the 2005-2006 season with a 42-20-11 record, while with a 2.07 goals against average and a .923 save percentage. Kiprasov is the Flames' all-time leader in games played by a goalie with 576, wins 305, shutouts 41, save percentage .913 and goals against average 2.46. Next, from the Carolina Hurricanes, Sebastian Ajo. Selected 35th overall in the 2015 NHL Draft, Sebastian Ajo has been nothing but a stud for the Carolina Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo has climbed to become one of the best forwards in the NHL today. Ajo is currently third in Hurricanes history for points and is also second in Hurricanes history for goals. Ajo has also led the Hurricanes in scoring for the past five seasons and is the youngest player in Hurricanes history to score a hat trick. Next, from the Chicago Blackhawks, Stan Makita. The Chicago Blackhawks have had many great players suit up for the franchise, but Makita stands out among the rest. Makita is one of the greatest European-born centers in NHL history, and he put up amazing numbers for the Blackhawks. Makita had an explosive career in which he scored 541 goals and added 926 assists for a grand total of 1,467 points. Makita is a nine-time All-Star, a three-time Art Ross Trophy winner, a two-time Hart Trophy winner, and also helped the Chicago Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup in 1961. Next, from the Colorado Avalanche, Peter Forsberg. Perhaps the most talented player in Avalanche history, Forsberg's career with the Avs was a combination of greatness and frustration. Unbelievable hands, vision, and strength combined into one player, but such an aggressive style took a huge toll on Forsberg's body, even causing him to miss the entire 2001-2002 regular season. But when Forsberg was healthy, not many people were better in the entire NHL. In that injury-riddled 2002 season, Forsberg was returned for the Stanley Cup playoffs and led the entire NHL in points with 27, despite the fact that the Avalanche did not make it to the Stanley Cup Finals that season. The following season, the two-time Cup winner would be the first Swedish player to win the Hart Trophy after producing 106 points. Next, from the Columbus Blue Jackets, Sergei Bobrovsky. The Philadelphia Flyers signed an undrafted Sergei Bobrovsky in May 2010. Bob played 83 games over two seasons with the Flyers before being traded to the Blue Jackets in 2012. Bobrovsky has been a part of the Jackets Foundation in nearly every statistical record for the team's goalies including most wins with 213 and most shutouts 33. While also during his tenure with the Jackets, Bob won two Vezina trophies, one in 2013 and won again in 2017 and is a two-time All-Star. Bobrovsky is currently a member of the Florida Panthers. Next, from the Dallas Stars, Sergei Zuboff. Sergei Zuboff was a key defender for the Dallas Stars during his time there. His career rating of plus 148 is outstanding, especially with some of the struggles the Stars went through during his last few years on the team. Zuboff was also a great assist man from the blue line. One of his best contributions was on the power play. Over half his goals were scored with the man advantage. Zuboff is the highest scoring defenseman in Stars history with 549 points and also helped the Dallas Stars win their first Stanley Cup in 1999. Next, from the Detroit Red Wings, Nicholas Lidstrom. Nicholas Lidstrom played his entire career from 1991 to 2012 with the Detroit Red Wings. His 1,564 games played currently ranks as the most ever by a European-born player. He scored 264 goals and 870 assists for a total of 1,142 points at a rate of 0.730 points per game. He retired with a plus 450 rating which ranks as the best in NHL history for a European player and his point total is third best among Swedish players. Lidstrom played on four Stanley Cup winning teams and holds several Red Wings records. He was also the Red Wings captain for the last six seasons of his 20-year NHL career and the first European captain to win the Stanley Cup. The 12-time All-Star won seven Norris trophies and one Conn Smythe trophy in 2002. Next, 
from the Edmonton Oilers, Yari Curry. The original Finnish Flash, Yari Curry was a member of the Edmonton Oilers dynasty that won five Stanley Cups. Curry's success is often linked to Wayne Gretzky and Marc Messier, but Curry was still pretty productive after Gretzky was traded to the LA Kings with 195 points in 156 games until Curry also departed Edmonton. The Curry-Gretzky duel is one of the best duels in NHL history with Gretzky assisting on over 50% of Curry's goals and Curry assisting on 22% of Gretzky's. In total, during his Oilers tenure, Curry scored 474 goals and had 1,043 points second all-time in Oilers history. Although he never won the Hart Trophy, he led the league in goals once in the 1985-86 season as he scored 68 goals and won the 1985 Lady Bing Trophy. Next, from the Florida Panthers, Alexander Barkov. Alexander Barkov has cemented himself as the greatest player in Panthers history. Barkov is already the all-time Panthers goal leader, the longest serving captain in Panthers history, and will soon be the Panthers all-time leader for points. He is the only player in franchise history to win more than one award as a Panther. In the 2018-2019 season, he became the first Panther to win the Lady Bing Trophy, and also became the first Panther to win the Celtic trophy in the 2020-21 season and has plenty of time to add to his resume. Next, from the LA Kings, Anze Kopitar. The first Sylvanian to play in the NHL and perhaps the greatest Sylvanian athlete of all time, Anze Kopitar has become one of the best two-way forwards in the game. Between him and Bergeron, the Selkie Trophy usually goes to one of them, with Kopitar winning two of them, one in 2016 and one in 2018. On top of the Selkie wins, Kopitar has led the LA Kings to two Stanley Cups, one in 2012 and one in 2014. He also has a Lady Bane trophy to his name while earning votes for the Lady Bane in 15 seasons. While being great away from the puck, he also led the Kings in points for the majority of his career. Next, from the Minnesota Wild, Miko Koivu. Miko Koivu has spent more than 15 seasons with the Minnesota Wild and has been a truly fantastic player. He holds several franchise records including games played 1,028, assists 504, and points scored 709. He has been a complete all-around player every year as well as Wild captain for 11 seasons. Koivu was a Selkie finalist in the 2016-2017 season. He was the first player in Minnesota Wild history to play 1,000 games with the team and also the first player to have his number retired by the Wild. Next, from the Montreal Canadiens, Saku Koivu. Saku Koivu is a player who had an ideal career despite battling Burkitt's lymphoma and other injuries throughout his career. Koivu is tied with Jean Beliveau for longest serving captain in Canadiens history and was the first European born captain of the Canadiens. He won the Bill Masterson Award in 2002. Koivu is the highest scoring European in Canadiens history with 641 points in 792 games. If Koivu was healthy for his entire NHL career, Career, there's a good chance that Koivu would have had a more productive NHL career. Next, from the Nashville Predators, Pekka Rene. Rene was taken with the 258th overall pick in the 2004 NHL Draft. Rene became the Predators' starting goalie during the 2008-2009 season and quickly established himself as one of the NHL's best goalies. In the 2017-2018 season, Rene would become the first Predators player to win the Vezina Trophy. After producing a 42-13-4 record with a 2.31 goals against average and a .927 Save percentage. He was a finalist for the award on four separate occasions. In 2017, Rene led the Predators to their first Stanley Cup Finals appearance in franchise history before losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins in seven games. Rene ended his career with the most wins in Predators history and as well as the most NHL wins by a Finnish goalie with 369 wins, and as well as the most shutouts for the Predators and for Finnish goalies with 60. 
Next, from the New Jersey Devils, Patrick Elias. Patrick Elias has spent his entire NHL career with the New Jersey Devils. The Czech forward has been one of the better two-way forwards throughout his NHL career. Elias is the Devils' all-time leader in points, 1,025, goals 408, and assists 617. Elias holds the Devils' record for most points in his season when he scored 96 in the 2000-2001 season, along with most career game-winning goals with 79. Elias won two Stanley Cups with the Devils in 2002 and again in 2003. He ranks second in points by a Czech-born player in the NHL, only behind Jan-Mary Jager. Next, from the New York Islanders, Bob Nystrom. Bob Nystrom, or better known as Mr. Islander, was actually what Islanders hockey was all about. He was a hard-working physical forward. Nystrom didn't fill up a stat sheet. He had 513 points in 900 career games with the Islanders. He was also one of the most respected fighters in the NHL and currently ranks fifth all-time in penalty minutes for the Islanders. In addition, Nystrom did plenty of charity work in the Long Island community with Nystrom Strum's commitment, dedication, and workmanship, he became the image that the New York Islanders wanted to be about, therefore earning him the nickname Mr. Islander. Next, from the New York Rangers, Henrik Lundqvist. Henrik Lundqvist has established himself as one of the best goalies of his era. He is a model of stability at a position that's seen a lot of turnover. Surprisingly, Lundqvist only won one Vesna trophy in his NHL career when he won the award in the 2011-2012 season, but he hasn't captured hockey's ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup. However, he has a number of achievements. Lundqvist is the only goalie in NHL history to record at least 30 wins in each of his first seven seasons. He holds the record with six consecutive Game wins and has the most wins by a European goalie in NHL history with 459. Lundqvist also holds a number of Rangers records including most wins 459, most shutouts 64, most playoff wins 61, and the most shutouts at MSG. Next, from the Ottawa Senators, Daniel Alfredson. Daniel Alfredson is the greatest player in Senators history. Alfredson's career with the Ottawa Senators spanned for 17 seasons from the 1995-96 season to the 2012-13 season. He played in 1,178 games and had 426 goals, 682 assists for a total of 1,108 points. All franchise records. In the 1995-96 season, Daniel Alfredson became the first player in Senators history to win the Calder Trophy in which he produced 61 points. Alfredson has also won a King Clancy Award in the 2011-12 season and as well as the Marc Messier Leadership Award in the 2012-13 season. Next, from the Philadelphia Flyers, Jakub Voracek. Voracek was acquired from the Columbus Blue Jackets in 2011. Voracek is 10th on the Flyers' all-time scoring list with 604 points and 5th all-time in assists with 427. Voracek is the first European player to reach the 700 game mark as a Philadelphia Flyer. In 2021, he would be traded back to the Columbus Blue Jackets and is now playing for the Arizona Coyotes. Next, from the Pittsburgh Penguins, Evgeny Malkin. When it comes to sheer power combined with skill, there's no other Russian like Evgeny Malkin. Malkin has been a beast his entire career but with an elite level of talent. Malkin has surpassed 100 points in a season three times and has led the league in scoring twice, once in the 2008-2009 season and again in the 2011-2012 season. In addition to his two Art Ross trophies, Malkin has three Stanley Cup championships, a Hart Trophy, Trophy, Calder Trophy, a Conn Smythe Trophy, and a Ted Lindsay Award. As it stands now, Malkin is third all-time in Penguins history for goals, assists, and points. Next, from the San Jose Sharks, Evgeny Nabokov. The Sharks drafted Nabokov. The Sharks drafted Nabokov with the 219th pick in the 1994 NHL Draft. Nabokov is the best goalie in Sharks history. In his tenure with the Sharks, Nabokov became the team leader in nearly every goalie category, including 563 games played, 293 wins, and 50 shutouts. He became the first Sharks player in Russian goalie to win the Calder Trophy in the 2000-2001 season and was one of the best goalies of the 2000s.
Like I said in the beginning of the video, the Seattle Kraken will be skipped. Next, from the St. Louis Blues, Vladimir Tarasenko. Tarasenko spent parts of 11 seasons with the St. Louis Blues becoming one of the franchise's leading scorers and winning the Stanley Cup in 2019. Between 2014 and 2019, he scored 30 plus goals each season. He even scored 40 for the first and only to date time in the 2015-16 season. Despite being traded to the New York Rangers in the 2022-23 season, Tarasenko is already fifth in Blues history in goals 262 and in points 550. 53. Next, from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Nikita Kucherov. There is still no better European player in the NHL today than Nikita Kucherov as he is regarded as one of the best players in the world. His point totals have increased for the Lightning as he reached the 100 point plateau both in the 2017-18 and the 2018-19 seasons. Upon scoring 128 points, 41 goals, 87 assists during the 2018-19 season, Kucherov earned the Art Ross Trophy, the Hart Trophy and the Ted Lindsay Award. Those same 128 points surpassed Alexander McGillney for the most points in the NHL by a Russian-born player. Additionally, Kucherov's 87 assists tied Yarmir Yager for the most assists in a single NHL season by a winger. Kucherov would win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups with the Lightning in 2020 and 2021, leading the playoffs and scoring both times. Kucherov holds the Lightning franchise playoff record for most points, goals, and assists. Next, from the Toronto Maple Leafs, Matt Sundin. Matt Sundin played his first four seasons in the NHL with the Quebec Nordiques until he was traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs in 1994. He would don the blue and white for 13 seasons and lead the Leafs in scoring 11 times over that stretch. He holds multiple Leafs records including most goals with 420, assists 567, and points 987. Sundin was the first European captain in Leafs history and guided the Leafs to the conference finals on two separate occasions once in 1999 and again in 2002. Next, from the Vancouver Canucks, Henrik Sedin. Henrik Sedin is the only player in Canucks history to win the Hart Trophy and no other player has left a more lasting mark on the franchise than him. Henrik and Daniel reimagined the game, playing it unlike anyone else in NHL history. With elite intelligence, craftiness, and playmaking, Henrik holds the Canucks record for all-time points with 1,070, assists 830, and games played by a Canuck, 1,330. His 112-point season in the 2009-10 season is a Canucks record as well as his 83 assists. Next, from the Vegas Golden Knights, William Carlson. Carlson was selected by the Vegas Golden Knights in the 2017 NHL expansion draft. Carlson has been one of the key points of the Vegas Golden Knights offense and helped the team reach the Stanley Cup Finals in their inaugural season. During his first season with the Knights, Carlson scored a career-high 43 goals and holds the Knights' single-season record for goals. He was also awarded the Lady Bing Trophy, becoming the first player since Wayne Gretzky to win an end-of-the-season award in their team inaugural season in the NHL. Next, from the Washington Capitals, Alex Ovechkin. Ovechkin is widely regarded as one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. Ovechkin has led the Capitals to a Stanley Cup in 2018, won three Hart Trophies, three Lester B. Pearson Awards slash Ted Lindsay Awards, nine Rocket Richard Trophies, the Calder, and Art Ross Trophy. Not to mention that Ovechkin is the first player to win the Art Ross, the Richard, the Lester B. Pearson, and the Hart Trophy in the 2007-2018 season in which he produced 65 goals, 47 assists for a total of 112 points. Possessing size, power, and speed, Ovechkin plays with a physical, sometimes reckless style. Ovechkin has more 50-goal seasons than any Washington Capitals player with 9, and is the Capitals' all-time leader for goals and points. Ovechkin is still among the most feared players in the NHL and one of the biggest superstars in the league. Last but not least, from the Winnipeg Jets, Nikolai Ehlers. 
Ehlers is the highest scoring European in modern day Jets history. He also holds the NHL record for most points scored by a Danish player in a single season with 64 in which he set in the 2016-17 season. Ehlers also holds the NHL record for most goals scored by a Danish player in a single season in which he scored 29 goals in the 2017-18 season. Ehlers could very well be on his way to become the greatest Danish player in NHL history. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe for more awesome hockey videos and comment below on what players I've missed out on. And as always, thanks for watching.